things around here. Who's that? Relax, Alfred. It's just me. Jason. I mean, uh... Master Todd, is, is that really you? Jason's fine, Alfred. You're not my servant. In fact, you shouldn't be anyone's servant. I, I prefer to think of myself, uh, as a caretaker. But to a 40-year-old man with inheritance money? Alfred, come on, you're better than that. Better than what? I chose this life. I'd be lying if I always said it was easy, but it has been fulfilling. You never wanted more out of life? You with your intelligence and your class, and you spend it pampering Bruce? I'm sorry, do you have a problem with, with me or with Master Bruce? With the whole damn thing! People like Bruce get rich and then they use their money to buy other people. And you just accept that? I'm sorry, is that why you came back? To insult Master Wayne and make fun of what I do for a living? Maybe it's not the way you want to hear it, but I am sick and tired of playing by other people's rules. Beating around the bush because of manners or what other people say is right. Nothing changes unless you're very direct. Master Todd. Don't call me master. I am not your master. Okay, Jason. Jason. If, if you'd allow me to express myself. I was never a servant in this house. First I was a father. Then a friend to Thomas Wayne. And a father to his son when he and, and Martha were killed. I know how all that happened, Alfred. But Bruce is not a child anymore. You can stop with all these excuses that keep you here waiting on him. Things are different now. And I suppose you have something to do with that. What? Bruce found out what you did to Black Mask and his men. Like I said, nothing changes unless you're very fucking direct. That is the wrong way to do it. Why, because Batman said so? Batman has a code. He uh, separates those who do good and fight for good versus those who fight for evil. Uh, you used to follow that code when you lived here. As just another soldier. As a member of this family, Bruce was not the only one that see, saw you as, a, uh, as his son. I did too. I still see you that way. That's, that's why I've stuck with this life. So I can see boys who have endured tremendous hardship grow up to be extraordinary men. When Bruce brought you in, I saw beyond the boy who tried to steal car parts and act tough. I saw a scared little boy with, with, with a light inside of him. Uh, a, a, a light that uh, grew, and as an adult, even with the hardness of, of life, it, it, it still shined, you never lost that light. And it, it broke my heart when I heard about your death. Well, I'm back now. I'm doing what I should have done but couldn't do as Robin. You shouldn't have any of this, Jason. You don't have to kill. You, you, you don't have to be alone. You, you can just come home, Jason. Look, you always have a home here. You, you're just as much of a son to, to Bruce as you are to me. I am no one's son. You always have a home here, Jason. Sure, Bruce Wayne's home for orphans. Bruce Wayne knows what it's like to lose his parents. That's why he had you. That's why he had uh, Master Grayson before you. And that's why he has uh, Master, Master Tim. Tim? Who's Tim? Tim is, he's a, he reminds me a lot of you. He's a spiritual one, that one. Uh, he, you know, he could use an older brother. He's the new Robin, isn't he? Yes. Has he fought the Joker? That man is at Aka Asylum. Thank God. Uh, listen, why don't I make your favorite dish for dinner? I haven't made anything for no, you. That's all right, Alfred. You've done more than enough. Uh, no, look, I, I insist. Right. Pardon me. Yes. Yes, sir. I understand. Yes. There's someone, uh, you should rush home. There's someone that I'd like you to... Uh, never mind. Understand. Always have a home here.